Hi, this is Trudy again. Hi, this is Mark. And we're answering Janie's contest. Um, and the first question in her question is, what made you decide to change your life and have weight loss surgery? What was your catalyst? Uh, let's see on my catalyst. Well, I had several health complications and I uh, heard the surgery fix them, which it did. And I think even my dad dying for you of a heart attack. Yeah. Um, because that's Michael's biggest thing is most people in his family have died of a heart attack. Yeah. So when my dad had heart problems and just up and died, um, for both of us it was a huge wake-up call that we need to do something. We don't, you know, want to be in that particular situation and kick in the bucket before we should. And so, um, and that was our biggest thing. And we've kind of always wanted to have the surgery. Yeah. Ever since, you know, weight became an issue for us. You know, I, I remember showing you the video and when you first, when I first introduced you to the whole idea of the surgery and you were like, yeah. you could eat a half an egg and be full and you're like, <gasps> and from that moment it was like, oh, I gotta have that. Um, what was the last time you felt truly alive, if ever, and what were you doing at the time? I don't think sex counts. Let <laughs> 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 me think. <laughs> the problem when I woke up from surgery, I felt really alive because I thought I was going to die anyway. So <laughs> you have to cut all your fingers and other appendages. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of feel alive most of the time, I think. I'm kind of a hot, cold kind of person. I'm, I'm never very seldom, if ever, lukewarm in anything. So, I and mean, I never feel dead, so obviously <laughs> I feel alive. Um, do you set goals for yourself, or do you just fly by the seat of your pants? And why? We're just a fly by the seat of your pants kind of people. Yeah. We, I mean, for the most part, that's what we do. Um, obviously, when you have six kids, if you want to do something as a family, we have to plan. Because um, there's lots of things to bring and what have you. But other than that, you know, because we do have six kids and we have children with disabilities and what have you, you can't plan for... Yeah what's going to come and so you know I can you know plan anything and you know Evan might be having a down day and that can change everything or the twins who are here often will get sick or you know whatever so there's there's really no planning as far as like goals um, I don't know about you but you know every I've decided that every 10 pounds lost I will take a picture Every 25 pounds lost, I get a reward, my, and I've mentioned before, my next one is to get my lovely hair highlighted, which right now is is not looking all so glamorous, but anyway, probably because dude be cut again. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, um, about it. Do you set any goals for yourself when the whole weight loss surgery part of it thing, weight loss thingy part? Mm -hmm. I think your goals are set by what your next achievement is. Yeah, um, you know, and then there's the whole robe thing. We'll have to show them that. Yeah. We'll show you that in the update video. But um, I think that's how you set your goals is by what you. It's not that you strive for it, but whatever. Anyway, um, what is your best, best, living your best life fantasy? So if you were to fantasize about living your best life, what would it be? I can't imagine anything different than this. No. I, um, if I grew up in a very abusive home, um, and my first marriage was an extreme roller coaster ride. My hair sticking up, and I don't like it. Sorry, I know some of you don't like primping on camera, but oh well. Um, 
this is far better than anything I had before. So this, I mean, this is my best life so far. My lovely children and my wonderful husband and not losing weight and looking for, forward to getting in some nice skinny jeans. That's all. I'm, I'm a simple, plain Jane kind of person. What about you? Well, you know, this is my best life because, you know, you only get one and... And, you Could know, you see your life little, better than yeah, this? Not really. You know, li living life without health complications is pretty much the best you get. Finding a church that we actually find home, so be nice, yeah. but it has nothing to do with weight loss surgery. Why did you begin the YouTube? Why? Uh, no, next question was. Sorry, what song best describes you right now? <laughs> when we did the video before, it was La La La. <laughs> and good night. Um, but would you you ended up picking something from Yanni? Wait, well, yeah, Yanni Nightbird, you know, something mellow and yeah, pretty much the, something mellow. I don't know. I can't think of any. Um, the other day would have been going back to sleep because I just have not been feeling well all week long. Uh, today's a little better, but we'll see. Um, I gotta go through periods. Um. I don't know, I can't think of any song that would best describe me at this particular second in life. Yeah. Um, my children would be something chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, I suppose that'd be my life. Kind yeah. chaotic. Up, down, roller coaster. Um, what inspires you to be the best you? My children. Yeah. You know, we are their role models, and you find yourself being on your best behavior when your children are around, and you find yourself eating better and being a better person when your children are around. Why did you begin to YouTube, and how long do you plan to participate in that? I plan to participate as long as my webcam and my, my computer let me. Um, I began... I began um, shortly after watching Amelia and um, seeing her journey and I said you know I wanted to do that I wanted to document my journey to see where I came from and how I um, and where I where I go and to leave a legacy behind for my children and it since then has become a way for us to help other people yeah, I know that you know, we've talked about that, and, and it's hard for me sometimes to get Mike to participate because he's not used to this whole talk talk all the time. But you know, he's starting to realize that you know he is helping other men who would normally not have had the surgery. Yeah. You know, maybe through Michael's testimony uh, on this, um, people will say that you know it's not just a woman's surgery. I, we back we ran into a cab driver who thought it was just a woman's surgery. Only women do did uh, weight loss surgery. It was a you know more of a vanity thing. Um, how do you view your role in a group setting? Are you a leader, an encourager, a motivator, a hater, or invisible? I'm invisible. I any big group setting, I'm invisible. I fade into the word work and nobody sees me and I'm just there. Well, as I said, as I said the last video, we made it didn't make it, but uh, you know. I, I think it's however best you can help somebody out and wh whether you whether you're leading or helping or just assisting. You know? I think in general though you're more of a motivator. Yeah. I can't see. I mean sometimes you're a follower, but you're kind of a more of a motivator kind of person for the most part. You're not really a leader kind of person, but I see you more as a motivator kind of person. Yeah. Or an inspirer or what have you. Um, how long have you been wanting to change your life? Ever since I was... Well, as far as the surgery, I've wanted the surgery ever since my sister-in-law had it. And I was first aware that the surgery was there. Um, but at the time, they only did it in the cities, and I don't drive, so there was no way that um, I was going to get there. Um, but, yeah. I, s I would suppose ever since I was 18, I've wanted to change my life because I had to get out of an abuse one abusive situation, unfortunately, and went into another one. But um, how much you, how long did you want to change your life? I wanted to change my life. 
since, since, since I know I knew my health was going downhill from being overweight and various other things. So I, I know you wanted the surgery ever since I showed you. You could eat a half an egg and be full. There's more to it than that. You know, it's a lot. A lot, a lot of it is just basically you know, wanting to be healthy and. Crazy. You knew eating four cheeseburgers wasn't going to do it? Yeah. <laughs> and yes, at one time we could have eaten four cheeseburgers and did. Um, did you think that, do you think this time you will succeed and do you have a plan for that success? Well, My plan is just relying on God that yeah. what